Hi friends, in our last session we have created our SSIS project and set up all the prerequisites before we develop project development. So in this session, let's try to understand more about our source details again. So let's go to our source URL and then the first task is to download all these files into our local drive, right? Before we download all these files from this URL, I want to have control on what we are downloading from this URL because there is a possibility that they upload some other files that we doesn't need from this URL, right? So I want only few files that I want to integrate. So I would like to have control on what we are downloading from this URL. So to have control on what source files that we integrating, we must have a configuration file. So whether it would be on a file or whether that information is on a table. So we need that source configuration details in a table or in any other format. So I would like to have a table to store this information and would like to use that table as a source to our SSIS project design. So our next task is to create a source configuration table in a database with all these source connection details. So let's go and create a database first in our server. Let's have a new database in our server, database server, and then let's create a new table and store this source connection, source file details in the table. Okay, so now let's go and open your SSMS and connect to your server and then create a new database. New database, now enter your DB name like who is DB, who is DB, then click OK. Now let's create a new table for our configuration like create table dbo dot. I want to create a source config of, uh, I want to create an ID um, with um, begint and identity column. And then I want to have another column that stores the actual value, config value. That means it has a file name, config value that is nvacar of 500 I want to give. And then I want to maintain who creates it, created by audit column, nvacar of 200 and I want to set default username and then I want to have created on as well get date sorry it's a date time default get date so let's create this table and then now just select that go dot source config so we have this table ready. So basically it stores all our configuration details, source configuration details. Let me insert few files like dbo.sourceconfig. Now config value, comma, there's nothing is required. Now select config value, I wanna insert, I wanna Let's go to our source details again. I want to first start with only few files and then once we have done with the and we comfortable or once we design our project for those few files, few sample files, then we can include all these source files into our configuration so that it automatically includes in our package execution. Okay. Now let's uh, search for the top level domains like uh, com. So I want to have this file. So uh, store in this configuration file. So I want to store this. And then I want to store I want to store net. I want to store org. 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವನ್ ಅಷ್ಟೂರ್ ದೇವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವನ್ ಅಷ್ಟೂರ್ ಇನ್ಫೋ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ವನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರ್ಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಸೊ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಆಟೋಮೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ನಾವ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಎ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಬೇಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್